Hello everybody. So today we have Venus that went into Virgo and I'm obviously out here in nature and I just wanted to show you first of all right why not show the goddess since we do have Venus and Virgo and then I'm gonna let you go don't you see the beauty and do you see the dragon hope you guys all can see well with the camera They're looking for Chico. And I will show you the other side. I'm sorry, my camera might be like a little off. Because of the glares, maybe if I'm in it, you can see her. Who that is? Who that is? Oh yeah. So okay, enough of that. Um, if you're still here and you're still watching, you're still awesome. So just wanted to do that. Um, so what do I have to say about Venus being in Virgo? Oh, well, first of all, let's just say we are still in Leo season and transitioning into Virgo season. So how about that? And it is going to be a shift, right, from like that fire, right, although it's still so sunny, that fire power to like the really grounding energy of Virgo and Mother Nature and all that love energy that we just need to just keep reproducing what it is that we are trying to produce out there, right? Whether it's the thoughts we are producing or, you know, the crafts that we do, our business, our relationships, everything, our energy. What is it that you're producing out there? What are you putting out there? What are you giving attention and what are you feeding, right? What are you eating? What are you drinking, etc. Right? It goes in so many different realms and dimensions. And the beautiful thing about Virgo energy is coming from Leo's energy. It really allows you to use that confident boost that you got in leo's energy from the heart really use utilizing that heart energy right the heart of a lion they say right but also tapping into that solar plexus and third eye and really using your your power and your intuition to really get you where it is that you need to go right and virgo is very much in confidence getting there in confidence right um and virgo is very much like they can have and don't take it how it is um it's just energy it's not bad nor good it depends where which polar you put it on right so um it can virgos like to kind of be like perfectionists in a sense and so with that energy of trying to perfect things they have to learn how to adapt first so this energy is really gonna help us ground all that fire energy that we had but in a way where it's not just grounding back to the earth and not doing anything with it it's actually really just neutralizing those energies that could not um, withhold the fire of leo right that were burned and purified and anything that was left over is to get adapted to is to ground into is to settle in okay settle into your genetics and get to to really connect with that energy that did stay right anything of that higher frequency that stood in the purification process of leo's energy stood of the purification process of that unconditional love of for the highest and greatest good energy right and venus is very much about that which you love and value 
and about fertility and, and prosperity, right? So when you really think of what it is that you have been valuing, um, you really tap into your heart space, right? Because it comes from, it has to, you value it because it comes from your heart. It comes from your heart. So you really see that difference. And honestly speaking, during this transition, um, we recently had Mars come into Venus. And that was like the fight that we needed right um, right during the time of starting to process all this Virgo energy we're about to go into, okay? Um, for us to really like let go of that which we needed to let go and just really say i rebuke any and all energies that doesn't serve me for my highest and greatest good and removing just all of that the parasitic energies okay they can be so toxic and one thing we have to remember is that this is a collective planetary shift that is happening for everybody but because everyone has um different you know zodiac signs in their charts and different placements and entities and everything like that depending on who the person is is you know on their chart is how it's going to really affect them with this shift right so some of us may be having a greater time than others. Also, if you have a, a healthy lifestyle or not, it, you know, it may be easier or harder. Um, but I say that all to say that everyone is going through these shifts. 